I do love a good sausage and I like it with like Welcome to another episode of Food Finders and today you can see we are by the seaside and JoyQ is back! Yep, so thank you guys for all your lovely, nice and scathing comments for bringing me back for another episode. Wasn't I was very surprised funny? that all the comments were yeah, so positive. Yeah, so. back so fast. Thank you guys, yeah! Yeah, oh and uh, of course Gary wasn't free so... <laughs> I think a lot of people mentioned about the uh, sucking on toes comment about sucking the on Twitch, toes. yes. Um, on your Twitch? On Twitch and also on Instagram. Oh. Yeah, a lot of okay. people at, told me that apparently yeah. I don't really have a Canadian accent and that uh, my accent is not single. Oh, oh, wait, that's a. Oh, wow! It's really near. Oh, the that's place. so nice! Damn, okay, that's really nice. <laughs> apparently, my accent has been weirdly changed and I don't sound okay. Canadian anymore. I also don't sound very Singaporean, so I'm stuck in the middle. Bring out your full Thank Canadian you so much. accent. I don't even know That's what good. that means. Yeah, we're, we're gonna explore some sea view worthy coastal sites. I don't know how to describe this. Seafood by the sea. Uh, they might not all be seafood okay. places yeah. today, but like they definitely are by the sea. You know, this is not something super common. So this episode is to just introduce some of the interesting spots that you can see the sea yeah. while dining and chilling. With friends or on a day. Let's go to our first spot. Okay, so we are at Offshore Bar and Grill and we are about to step through a intelligent disinfection oh, wow. door. It's gonna disinfect me. I think you're gonna get this super happy piece. It's a premium add-on. You get lobster, you get crab, and is that more oysters? I'm oh, okay with that. I love oysters. More oysters. Oh god, the more oh oysters. God, I'll take all of your oysters. Okay, cool. You can have it. Yeah, it's all yours. It's an aphrodisiac. You don't need it. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy enough. I can self afro get myself. Would whoever is making that flapping sound quiet down? And this is actually a buffet. Uh, they do a barbecue. I think this is probably like the more exciting section for the barbecue, right? So there's a whole selection of meats. This is really good organization. Oh. Black pepper, itaewon beef, fat beef. It's really smart. Okay, and then here we have a seafood selection. Flower crabs, bamboo clams. So that's that's quite rare lah to see in a, in a barbecue. Wow, sake again. Oh, wow. Okay, so wow. this this is like a skewer look look kind of situation we have. Oh, this is good. I'm definitely this, gonna get this? a salad. Oh, salad? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm gonna skip this section. Nacho cheese. Oh shit. Okay. This this is like quite interesting. Nacho cheese. Yeah. You can put it on grill and the the cheese will just melt, and you can dip whatever you want. Selection is actually like very, pretty, very pretty huge. So the food is here. This is part of like the premium set thing. So it comes with like crab and lobster and the oyster. Uh, then you know we just got some random stuff from yeah. the buffet. And uh, you know, let's. Oh, you got the Hawaiian iced tea. What's this tea? is the Hawaiian iced tea. Hawaiian iced tea. That is part of the free flow. But um, I've never heard of this when I was in Hawaii uh, at the beginning of this year. So we'll try it out and see. They just like yeah, start grilling stuff. Oh yeah, you were so into like the oysters, right? Yes. You wanna you wanna give it a go? Okay. Have an have an oyster. Okay, so yes. it comes with like four oysters. I'm a big oyster fan. Uh, I gotta cheers. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't get everywhere. Whoa. Whoa, I taste the seawater in that oyster. Definitely very juicy. Pretty plump, yeah? Very plump, but like very briny. I want to say it's super briny. It's okay. Oh my oh. god, my prawns are like... Did the <clears throat> lobster just move or was it just me? So like they have, have these life tanks of the seafood, right? So they actually straight away get the lobster out of the tank and then they prepare it and they serve it for the premium version but like you know some some of the claws were like still like it was like rigor mortis and still rigor mortis wow actually i really like that it's really windy here so it doesn't feel so humid windy. right like because yep. when i came in through the parking lot it was so windy that 
that it actually yeah. feels like we're not in Singapore anymore. Giving me a bit of Mal Malaysia vibes. Can Malaysia? I say that? <laughs> really? I was gonna say like I don't know, like island vibes. Mm. I mean, technically Singapore is an island. <laughs> you just don't see the 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 coast yeah. much. Oh God, it's been so long. I think uh, you need to come with a professional real friend, friend. who is not set. Hey, person. that's not up to me. That's it's like a, it's always that one person at barbecue, like you know, ah, right. that's yo, really good at grilling. Yo, yo, I really appreciate that guy. That just like stands there and barbecues like the whole session. Yeah. Like he just does nothing but barbecue. So good. And that's like thank you, friend. We appreciate you. Love it. Yeah, we got some stuff done. There's a huge ass lobster. Mm. Skewer is good. Skewer is good? Mm. You, I cooked it myself. You cooked it yourself? Well done. I feel like this is like the highlight of what we should try. So like, it's like live crab, live lobster. So this is a crab. I love crabs. This is a lobster? That was a, this, this is a crayfish. Oh sorry, this is a crayfish. The lobster is this one. The crab is really good. We're gonna try this. Yeah, so like, you can tell the oh. seafood is really fresh. Uh, I'm gonna try the satay. Why do I keep doing satay with you? I don't understand. Satay for life. But honestly, this lobster is really good. Okay, hot dog, like in cheese, yo. That's gonna be oh, the wow. bomb. Hot dog and cheese, yo. This is the way we roll. Can I have? Oh, it's good with the cheese. Yeah, that's Surprisingly. it. Surprisingly. cheese is the bomb. Hmm. How do you find offshore bar Ooh. and grill? To be honest, so on yeah. the way here, it was so far away. I was like, where am I? Because I have never been to this far yep. of an uh, area. And obviously seeing this location and the ambiance, this is something of my vibe, to be honest. Yeah. Good food, good drinks. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm giving it a 4.5. Yeah, <laughs> I did have a good time. 4.5. I think the 0.5 is really for the, the distance. <laughs> like, oh bro, because I live in like west the west, side. right? It took me like 30 minutes. Just driving here. Hello, um, this is Singapore. It's not yeah. even that bad. Yeah, I felt like I was like driving to Malaysia or something. <laughs> uh, but what do you mean by that? The buffet is a bit expensive as well. It's, it's not like super cheap. Like. It's, <coughs> we're talking about like, 60 plus dollars. 60 per person, yeah. right? Per and person. Then add on is another 59 per table. But the variety is really good. And the food um, is fresh. It's, it's a really yeah. nice ambience, right? So it's smoky, but you know, we're outdoors. So it's fine. We're good. And it's not hot. Right. It's actually very no. breezy, very, very good. cooling. 4.5. I think this is a very nice place to bring your friends, come out and chill at Offshore Bar and Grill. We're gonna go off to our next spot now, Marshmallow Transition. Avocadabra. Uh, okay, Avocadabra. So wait, so recently oh you've God. not been doing any like, uh, what do you call that? Twitching. Twitch a thorn? Is it twitch? What's that thing where you like just stream for like a whole... Oh yeah. Uh, no, no, not recently, but it was July because okay. I was celebrating my five years anniversary in Singapore, Singapore. and then half right. a year anniversary on Twitch. So I did a subathon, but okay, I it. try to call it split-a-thon because I try to split it into two days rather than streaming for the whole like 48 hours. Usually people stream for a long time and like, you know, <clears throat> non-stop but it's actually not very healthy for them so Wait, why is it not healthy because you're non-stop you're okay. up for like 48 72 oh, hours oh you can't sleep right yeah right. you don't sleep okay. or some people do sleep and they will stream the stream sleeping. sleeping yeah i saw this guy <coughs> that made money off like people just live streaming him sleeping, sleeping. yeah like what the f yeah but i don't feel like Oh, you want people I probably watching you? don't want people to oh, watch sleeping? me sleep. Hey, yo, you're gonna blow up if you do that. Oh like, like, I feel like there's a market that will want to watch you sleeping. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, wow, the sun is really... Damn, it's really oh, bright. Oh, shit, yeah, Dean, you should get, like, the sun. Uh, so bright, I need to put on my sunglasses. It's a cloudless day, so you can see the sun. Oh. All the more reason to, like, come to Seaside <laughs> Restaurant. We are at the Sea Grill. It's really nice. Like you can see the sunset. And Everything's then, like so chill. Everyone's like playing, chilling by the People, ocean. The breeze is really nice. So like, I really appreciate like having this nice cool part. breeze. Yeah. While well, having dinner, so you know you don't need like aircon. It's it's not too hot. You're not sweating like a pig. Okay, so we're gonna try the. Uh, I heard that the seafood platter. Okay. It has a little chef hat. You know, ah, the chef hat I saw is this. nice. 
Um, they recommended meat platter and we're also gonna do the paella, paella. the Valencia. Oh my gosh, Valencia so, paella. This actually sounds really good. It's like bomba rice, so it's like authentic rice, right? Don't use just like nonsense rice. Nonsense rice. Okay, let's move on to the food. So uh, yeah, we got ready. our chopsticks <laughs> on the plate here. Is that even possible? I don't know why they gave it, it to try. us. Pick up, pick up prawn, pick up prawn. Wait, 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 this is very hard. The prawn pick is very prawn. big. Everything's very okay, big so in no, your little hands. <laughs> These are for our drinks. Ah, yeah, okay. They gave us some. Well, they gave no, me like, the alcoholic drink. Like, yeah. Real men don't drink through tiny straws. I'm not a real man. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> to be clear, this is a virgin mojito. Yeah, so no Have alcohol. Have to make that very clear very for clear. all of y'all, you viewers over there. <laughs> yeah, me not. Uh, me no drinky while driving. Yeah, yeah the food is here. The pie is here. Okay, Looks it's not amazing. super big, but like you can see it's like really packed with seafood. Yeah. And then the Good seafood size. grill. We have the cheese, scallops. We have the prawns. We have a piece of fish. Uh, looks like a sea bass. And then the meat platter. It looks legit. amazing, even under the darkness amazing. of the sky. Yeah. Um, Where shall we start? I, you know, paella? Let's, Before let's it gets paella. cold? So like crayfish, oh. right? We had this earlier. Yeah. Oh, so wow. It's a, You're um, giving me the prize possession in the middle. This, that's another one. It's oh. hot. Like I thought he was nice, but no. You gotta have the rice because the paella is all about the of rice. Of course, it's all about the rice. All about that rice. Mm. Some parts on the outside are a bit more al dente because it's a bit more crusty. Like more charring. But mm. Yeah, like towards the, the, the center, like it's yeah. a bit soggy on me. Um, I prefer yeah, the outside because these. the paella, like this, yeah, yeah, has the that, tarness like, is really good. Nice char. Mm. I gotta try the crayfish. The rice though, I'm like such a rice mm. boy. Don't eat too much rice, you're gonna, you're gonna ah, be full later. Right, but I love rice. Mm. That seafood's good. Yeah. Like flavors there. Mm. Just so, oh, here, here we go, now Oh, here we go again. Oh shit. Here we go again. I'm gonna move on to the cheesy okay. scallop. This looks really cheesy good, right? Scallops. Mm. Yeah, it's not like a mm. I'm not really a big scallop fan. But I think with the cheese, it actually tastes pretty good. Actually, the funny thing is, I don't really like seafood. You don't like seafood. But I love oysters. What the hell? How about fish though? Like, the fish count Oh, I do like salmon. I like steamed fish. Like the Chinese kind, you know? With the ginger and the green onions, I love that. Mm -hmm. But I will eat seafood and still know what kind of like taste that I should be looking for. Are you just too lazy to fill seafood? Yes. Ah, peel as well. Who's the peeler here? It's, uh, it's very lazy, like what you're doing right now. It takes so much work. I don't want to work for my food. I just want to have it and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going like fine dining style. Have you ever like been taught how to do this? Mm -mm. I just use my hand. Oh, but you can't do that in like a fine dining place. Five minutes later. Terrible. Okay, you know what? Yeah, you're right. We're not at, we're not in fine just dining. Just be a barbarian. Yeah, we're not in fine dining. It's fine. I'm just gonna peel it. Yeah, I have a prawn. Thank you. I'm so used to it. Are you ready? Oh, oh. You're like the first girl to peel prawns for me. I'm so used to it. Um, I think overall it's okay. Yeah, definitely very fatty and juicy. Like it's so very, very chunky, very firm. Mm. Wow, this can be shared between like at least three oh people. I think two people, it would be a lot for two people. Let's move on, on the to meat. the meat. Lay on the meat. What kind of sausage is this? Chicken bratwurst. Ah, oh, I love okay. bratwurst. I do love a good sausage, and I like it with like... I like it with a sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is good. I like it with mustard. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm, I like the sausage. It's more of like the inside, like mm. get the smokiness. Yeah, it's not it's cooked overly really dry. It's really nice, yeah. It's okay, this is a weird thing, but like they did the sausage really well here. Hey, okay, try the duck, I've already gone through oh, the yes. What do you think? Yeah, it's fairly dry. It's not that it's a bit dry, it's like medium dry. <laughs> medium medium dry. So this the beef is pink in the center, so like at least it's oh. a it's like a medium. Okay, the beef is not bad. This just discounting temperature, right? But it's nice, it's nice. Like the butteriness, it's not like super fat, but it's it's quite lean actually. It's lean actually. The flavor lingers in your mouth. It's not like a you know when you bite into it, like it just tastes like nothing. Yeah. Shall we move on to okay, the kebab, chicken? Kebab oh my gosh. Okay. And dip it in oh, the shit. sauce. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that sauce is good. Oh. Reminds me of like ten times level better than the IKEA gravy. Oh, the meatball gravy is so good. It's a really good brown sauce. Oh, it's good. No, you should do the meat with the sauce. It makes more sense. Huh? A lot of meat. And what helps? 
sauce. The sauce. This is really like a beach side bar kind of drink, so it's not it's not horrible. It's it's pretty decent. Mm. How do you find it? Three point eight. <laughs> I know, I know. I just, Why just can't. I feel like three point five is too mean yep. because there are actually good stuff in here, but four point zero is not there yet. So I feel like it's a three point eight. And I have to say minus one point because of the four. washroom. So ah, for right. ladies, it's FYI, a park washroom. it's a park washroom that you have to walk it like is. maybe two minutes away. It's, it's just that you have to bring your own toilet paper. So right. I just want to give a heads up because that right. is important. You know what do you use? Leaves? Like? Um, are you missing a sock? If he's not wearing socks, yeah. you know what happened. Uh, Yeah, I'm on. I'm on three point five. Yeah. Like for date night in mm -hmm. general, like this is an interesting spot. The variety of stuff, like it's, it's like sharing platters that you can share uh, with your date as well. Come Super. early to catch the sunset yeah, and yeah. like the dust. If you come at like six plus, like you can get like a really nice view, and it will be amazing. Okay, that's it for Sea Grill, <laughs> and we're gonna see you at the next place. So, <coughs> how do you feel as a Canadian? in Singapore for the last five years? I think in the beginning it was a bit daunting. After a long time, I've grown really accustomed to it. I would say that I've acclimatized pretty well. From my Singlish from last video, I'm doing pretty well. You pay me, man? But at the beginning when I first got here, it was a big culture shock. So what, what was like a culture shock for you? Probably one of the biggest ones was um, going to hawker centers, like people are just kind of rude. They're not the rude, they're like straightforward. Oh boy, can you just order? Okay, mainly the <laughs> aunties and uncles, okay? I'm very sorry, but like I recall going up to the stall and I didn't even see the menu because the menu was so far away, right? The line was so long. Yeah. And then she was like, what do you want? You want and I was like, huh, wait, where's the menu? What? <laughs> why, why are you so bad at finding menus? And then, and then, <laughs> it's like a thing. Check out all the newspaper clippings, you know it's a, you know it's real deal when they have newspaper clippings. Hello. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> we are now where we Central Thai on the ECP. It's actually strangely crowded. Yes. At on a Central Thai. Night. Yeah, it's like eight plus or something and like yeah there's like a, a, a whole Pretty ton of people full. actually like I'm, I'm very surprised this is a very family centric and the halal restaurant as yeah, well halal. Yeah, a lot of people actually walking by still biking around so i think it's a nice cool evening as well i think that's why and also we don't have our mask on anymore yeah. so yay! yeah we, we forgot to mention that yes. you don't need a mask Three. anymore yeah so there's like a air conditioned area as well yeah. like yeah but like I, I think on a night like today like it's really totally fine to be outside in fact i like it i like it better like outside yeah. like it's more breezy it's a good temperature yeah. so let's go in and see That's the food fantastic. okay so okay. it's a thai restaurant I feel like tom yum soup is kind of something that we should get. I like prawn cakes as well. We should get like the Thai prawn cake. Lemon sea bass, right? Steamed so lemon sea bass is spicy lemon sauce. So I've never had that in a Thai bass. restaurant actually. No, this is actually quite common. Oh really? Like sea bass in like uh, no, like a lemon sauce. Spicy lemon sauce, really? Yeah, everything Thai is mostly spicy. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, pineapple rice, please. Okay, yes, definitely. That's. That's what we're gonna do at the third restaurant, order more rice, yeah! yeah. He's such a rice boy. Uh, I, I love, love rice. rice. Mm. I actually want the mango sticky rice because I think okay. if I'm gonna come to a Thai restaurant, it's so hard to get my mango, good sticky, mango rice. sticky rice. Okay, mango sticky rice. Yes! Right the now. cute thing is like the the ice milk tea towers. <gasps> yes. like little, oh my god, can we get a shot? It's like of little that? towers. Oh my ice god, milk this tea. is like my dream. Like, I love you know, Thai like milk tea so much. It's like a beer tower, but like this, like a. But like with milk tea. Thai milk tea tower. Okay, soup up. Do you like tom yum soup? I love tom yum. Oof! That's it! This is really good. You got a lot of aromatics, but it's, it's fish and spicy. I think, I think they were really authentic with the spice as well. What are you staring at? What are you, it's like... Spicy. This is spicy, man. Whoa. Somehow Boom. the fish just appeared into me. the frame. So we're just gonna try... Prawn cakes. It looks very crispy from the outside but soft on yeah. the inside. Mm. I like the fermented prawn paste like kind of flavor, like to be heavier. Let's try the sea bass, sea bass. So you've never had this dish. It's like a lemon spicy and sour kind of sauce. 
Wow. Hot. <laughs> How's the fish? How's the sauce though? Like spice sour. I don't really taste the lemon flavor that much. I do like steamed fish just like this though. So this is what I mean mm. by the fish style. It's pretty close like. to like, yeah. This is pretty close to steamed fish. You like the fish? It's very soft, very tender. So the the sauce is not like super spicy also, just a bit excessive on the garlic. I like that. I'll take that home. You like that? I'll take that. Wait, so pineapple rice, we got some egg pieces here, cashews, yeah. corn, carrot. Yeah. Is that cauliflower? Pineapple? Oh probably. shit, that's pineapple. <laughs> that was really like a sweet fried rice. It's a dish that doesn't really exist in Thailand, but as a non-existent dish, it tastes pretty decent. I love mango sticky rice. Me too. It's so good. Oh, it smells like pandan. Okay, oh, that is hundred percent <laughs> pandan. But like uh, the pandan smell is so. It's very strong. Oh, sorry. Wow. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a bit warm. Yeah, very warm. Where did they take this out from? Like they steamed it, it right, um, right before this. Maybe that's why. Okay, I'm gonna eat it with the piece of mango. Ooh, wait. Oh no. Oh no. How's the mango? You might not like it. Try it out. See for yourself. Oh shit, the mango is not good. It's a bit sour. <laughs> ah! No! Oh no! The rice has such high potential. Yeah. But the, the mango, Jesus. Get a sweet mango. It's like ah, almost, mm. almost there. Almost there. All right, let's sum up Central Thai. How do you feel? Oh my gosh, so hard. I want to like also say between three point five or four. Okay. Three point five only for the mango sticky yeah. rice, and uh, also I guess like maybe a bit far away from the sea. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I mean, unfortunately for us, I think we we were. We're at the very end. <laughs> far away from the sea. So, but yeah. like I guess if you walk. Back. Or dinner, if you happen to get dinner. a table yeah. nearer to the sea, like yeah. you will get the sea view. I would yep. say if I were to give it a four, it would be because of the tom yum and the sea bass. What I think those are, are really good. A 3.8! <laughs> no, we got the more 3.5, 3.4. You got a, uh, uh, 3.5. 3.5? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I really decided on 3.5. Like. You always yeah. copy what I say. You always copy oh, what I say. Yeah. I think the dishes were actually pretty authentic. Yeah. Okay, but wait time is a bit long yeah so i think that's one factor that kind of played into yeah. the consideration still a good place to like kind of have a nice a meal a, a very like down to earth meal by the sea okay so this is the end for central thai and we're gonna hop back <sighs> in the car because it's late <laughs> okay transition okay so we are back in the car. Honestly, I wanted Dark. to do one more place, but it got really late. Yeah, it's coming at 10, so like the kitchen closed, so like yeah. you know, we couldn't, we're gonna hit another spot. And uh, yeah, this episode is a bit different. Like we did like an evening shoot. Mm -hmm. We wanted to showcase the sunset in Singapore. Mm. All right, so let's round up what we tried today. My favorite has to be OBG. offshore, offshore bar, and grill. bar and grill. Offshore I like it because the ambiance is just great. I know that like yeah. the setup is just looks really nice. It's actually yeah. right by the water, which is very hard to yeah, find yeah, in yeah. Singapore. And then the wind mm -hmm. and like just barbecuing alongside mm -hmm. the sea. I think that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I would say like the second one, yeah. still nice view, good platters of food. Mm -hmm. um, just your very you know yeah. casual kind of bar and grill places. And then of course like the third one, the Thai food is definitely like the tum yum I really like. Mm -hmm. um, as well as the fish. But I would say the place is a bit farther away, so you might not get the best sea mm -hmm. view. But pretty authentic Thai food. Just missed the mark on the mango. So that brought it down to a 3.5. Okay, so let's move on to Hermes. Okay, so I think the interesting thing is cause like, you were literally right episode. in like the last episode. So you get like the full Ooh, experience. Um, uh, Zermatt formula. Pretty girls get clicks. She's oh, legit though. Oh. Good host. Thank you. I guess you Jeremy T. Like, but what did you say you. here? Oh, you think Joy is pretty? <laughs> I loved all of the experiences with Joy. Okay, Ooh, quite, quite cute. Few, like, wow, so nice everyone. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, let's just cover this last one. I like the videos, but I really dislike those annoying childish effects and inserts. Keep it pro and clean. Pro. Uh -huh. Um, well, effects. I personally really like the video effects and sound effects mm -hmm. and the memes that come out. 
I actually thought the editor did a great job because I liked the way of mm. editing. I think our team personally does prefer this, yeah. this style, rather like, if not we, we find it kind of dry. So yeah, this comes to the end of this episode and let us know how you find like the whole night thing I guess and dark, very dark. we're just experimenting and like comment and subscribe lastly any theme of videos you want to watch in the future yeah ideas? do comment as well yeah we need we need new ideas okay thanks bye, bye. Lame jokes. This is why my face is always like, you'll notice I judge him a lot on video. And it's true.